Hello and welcome to my channel. Now in this vlog, we are going to uh, place my wildlife camera, my camera trap, my trail cam, all titles for the same type of camera. We are going to place that in a new location. That location is somewhere around here. Not exactly here. We're gonna go for a little bit of a walk and uh, a little bit of a talk and place the camera in a new location. And we will also be coming back in this vlog to pick it up. So where have I brought you today? Where are we? Well, we are at a place called Hardcastle Crags and that's uh, West Yorkshire, of course. And it's in between Mytham Royd and Hebden Bridge. And it's a beautiful place. If you come to West Yorkshire, definitely visit Hardcastle Crags. Have a nice walk around here. It's a really beautiful place. Nice big walk. It's as long as you want it to be, obviously. But yes, uh, definitely visit Hardcastle Crags. Now this morning started off to be quite a uh, miserable morning. The forecast said the sun was gonna come out. So we had rain this morning. I thought, blimey, it's not gonna happen. But the forecast wasn't too far off and we have glorious sunshine you can see the sort of terrain that i've brought you to it's woodland and i am hoping to trap deer not actually physically trap deer it's a camera but uh, i do look at it like a trap i don't like the idea of actually trapping an animal but trapping a photograph of a wild animal is brilliant and today my uh, quarry is that the right word today i am hunting deer so i have um I've realised, let me just take you down here. Now, I don't know a lot about uh, tracking wildlife and trapping them, but what I have noticed whenever I spot deer, there's always, there's always this stuff, this uh, bracken, I think it's called bracken. Uh, there's always this stuff around and they're wading around in this. Do they eat it? Uh, or is it just that they're really camouflaged in this? So in this woodland area, and it does open out onto uh, fields and moorland uh, further on, as we might see, but there's always this stuff around. So when I see this, I think, yes, there could be some deer around here. So I am gonna place the camera somewhere around here uh, as I walk around. I might come back here and actually place it here at some good spots here. But we're gonna have a little walk around and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, the sights and sounds of uh, Hardcastle Crags and then we're gonna place the camera. And remember, in this vlog, we are coming back to pick the camera up. It will be a few days for me, but it uh, will all happen in this vlog for you. Yeah, just seen some. Should I be getting to know what these droppings are if I'm trying to uh, track animals? Yeah, I think, I think I will have to find out. Now, if you know what animal them droppings belong to, let me know in the comments section below. I'm gonna have to learn this, aren't I? I didn't realize that. Just saw that up there and I thought, hmm, yeah, what animal is that? So I'm sure one of you guys know. So I'm really enjoying the walk around Hardcastle Crags today. I hope you are enjoying it too. And I'm glad that you're with me or of course I would be all by myself. Now the wild cam that I'll be planting, I was talking in the last vlog about putting some bait out like some fruit or uh, like someone said mashed potato uh, for like badgers. But I've reconsidered having watched a few other uh, trail cam vlogs. I think I would prefer to use the skill of uh, looking for where the animals are hanging out sort of thing and, uh, and putting the camera there and getting them in their normal setting. What they are actually doing, what is going on here at night time, what is going on here when no one else is around. 
That's the idea of the camera. So I'm not going to be putting bait out. I'm going to uh, use my skills, <laughs> limited at the moment. I do need your advice. Around here, there's got to be plenty of wildlife. So I do need some uh, help and uh, put your comments in the comment section below, of course, on uh, good places, what to look out for. I think that's what I'm, what I'm uh, thinking about as I'm walking now. I'm looking for signs of wildlife, of deer, badger, and uh, fox today particularly deer but realizing that i don't really even know what i'm looking for the only thing i can say is and if i take you down here again um, the only thing i can say is that um, it's this stuff that i've realized usually there's deer around when there's lots of this stuff and there is in this woodland and there is as we get out further up onto the moor Okay, I have found the place where I'm going to put the camera this time. And it's on that tree just over there. Just gonna give you a little bit of a look around. And the reason I've chosen here, there's plenty of this bracken. I can see kind of a, a path down here where I think the deer are wandering down. Uh, I, think it's, uh, I think it's prime deer territory. Yeah, there's a, an open field up above there, out onto some moorland. I think this is a, it's a little bit off the path. The path is just down there, but it's not a very well used path. The main path goes right over the top. So this is where I'm going to put the camera. I'm gonna put it on this tree here. Facing this way, so I'll put the uh, GoPro exactly where I'm going to put the camera. I'm going to put the camera about there and hopefully get them coming down this path. I might just put it just facing down a little bit like that. And uh, yeah, that is where I'm going to put it. Definitely. And hope that it's still here when I come back in a few days. What do you think of my location? Do you think I'll get anything? At this point of the vlog, do you think I'll get anything? Do you think I'll get deer? I did see a squirrel running up there. Squirrels, to a penny. Do like to see them, but uh, yeah, to a penny. So yeah, deer is what I'm after. So that's it. The trail cam has found a new location and I am trying to get deer, of course, this time. So I'm going to return. I don't really know how many days I'm going to leave it here and just what's convenient for me to get back out here. Uh, it's quite a ways from where I live, but uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it here for a few days, see what I get, uh, but it won't be a few days for you. It will be a matter of seconds. So it was just a matter of seconds for you, but it is six days later, the camera's been out for six nights. Now I'm not alone today. My last is there, she might give us a wave. It's a foggy day today here at Hardcastle Crags. So yes, the camera has been out for six nights. That's the longest I have had the camera out. So I'm expecting really good results this time. And remember, we were hunting deer, not actually hunting them, but uh, it's the camera, of course. So I am hoping to get pictures and uh, video footage of deer. I'll be happy with anything, to be honest, but uh, deer was what I was uh, trying to get, so we will see. Now, let me just tell you something about this camera. Now, the camera that I am using, the trail cam, is the uh, Campark T45. 
and I'm still using the same batteries that I put in it when I got it and I've put it out quite a few times now and the battery level is still saying full battery so I'm really impressed with the uh, battery efficiency on this camera it's a totally different day to when I dropped the camera it's a lovely misty morning so me and Sheila are having a great walk around this morning we've brought some sandwiches with us not that you need to know that but uh, just letting you know that we are well nourished always get good sandwiches when Sheila comes with me now as always with these camera drops there is the risk that somebody has spotted the camera and the camera isn't there <laughs> so uh, let's hope it is there but this time I did remember to password protect the camera so at least if it has gone I've got the satisfaction of knowing that they can't even use the camera uh, it's a small satisfaction I'll still be gutted but uh, yeah I password protected the camera so this camera has password protection on it uh, very easy to set up so uh, let's hope the camera is still there <laughs> now so far every time I've mounted the camera I have used the strap the little green strap really handy strap that comes with the camera and you strap it around the tree trunk it's nice and long so you can strap it around pretty big trees and uh, I've used that every time, but I can't say that I've been confident that the camera wouldn't be spotted because the problem with the strap that I'm finding is that uh, it's the strap that you can actually see that would actually uh, just sort of just catch your eye because it's a different shade to the tree and you can just see, you can just see it basically uh, from 360 degrees right around the tree trunk. Whereas if you mount the camera different without the strap, you wouldn't be able to see it behind the tree trunk if you follow that. Now I seem to have got a little bit lost on my way to where I put the camera and I'm really glad that I marked where I put the camera on my fantastic Garmin GPS. I didn't think I'd need this, in fact I was just telling my lass I could walk to where the camera is without even using anything but as I've got to this point here I'm thinking I can't remember walking here the last time that I came when I uh, dropped the camera. So I have got it marked here and it is just up this way. So there's every chance I did walk this way, but I might have been uh, daydreaming. So uh, yes, the, uh, the camera mount, um, I have purchased a couple of new camera mounts so that I don't have to use the strap. The camera does come with a camera mount that you can screw into a wall, but I think it's, it's, it's quite um, noticeable. I think it's for if you're using the camera more as a security camera around your home. But um, I looked online and I found these uh, screw mounts for trail cams and they're literally just a four inch screw with uh, a quarter 20 uh, thread on that you can actually mount the camera on. So I've ordered a couple of them and you simply screw it into the trunk of the tree. It's only four inches long. The tree you can cope with that no problem and it's as simple as that and you won't be able to see it from the other side of the tree. So I think I'll be a little bit more confident with that. So just a little update, I definitely have come the wrong way, a different way, but uh, thankfully, thankfully I did. By chance, I did actually mark where the camera was on my GPS. And like I said before, I really wasn't going to because I thought, well, I can't go wrong, but I have gone wrong. <laughs> so we're on a higher path than I took before. If we look down here, you can see that line of trees down there. That's where I walked before. And my GPS is telling me that the camera is down there. So I learned a little lesson there that I must always mark the uh, camera drop uh, position on my GPS because uh, I think I know where I'm going, but I don't. Okay, so we came a slightly different way, but it's been interesting. Now, at this point, I can actually see over that wall behind me. I hope you can see that. Over that wall is uh, the rough location of where the camera is. And I cannot see from here whether the camera is still there. So I really wanted to get my binoculars out. We just sat and had a, a cup of coffee and something to eat. And all that time, I wanted to get my binoculars out and, and see if I could see if it was there, but I haven't. So we are going to take a walk over now and see if the camera is actually still there. And then we'll have a look, of course, at whether we have got anything and uh, whether I have achieved uh, trapping some deer. Yes, the camera is here. I'm so happy. Can you tell? <laughs> yep, the camera is still here. And you can see what I mean. Uh, down there, people walk past and you can see the strap all the way around the tree. So when I get these new mounts, I might feel a little bit better about it. Let me just show you close up the camera. Um, 
I can see some uh, water, some rain on the lens there. Hope you can see that. Now the GoPro doesn't work very well close up, but there's some raindrops on the lens there and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they haven't been there all the time and they've dried out over the nights and the days. So we're gonna see what footage we've got on this camera and uh, hopefully we've got deer. <laughs> I'm so happy that the camera is here. So me and my lass sat down here on a log. She is doing the camera work right now, so it's great to have my assistant. And uh, I've looked at the footage here and uh, you might be able to just make out me just uh, picking the camera up. And that's about all we've got. I can't believe it. It's not been triggered in the night time and uh, it's only got me dropping the camera off and me and my lass approaching the camera to pick it up. So not even triggered in the night, can't believe it, over six nights. And the, the rain, the dew or whatever that gathered on the lens is definitely an issue because had it have been triggered, we wouldn't have seen much anyway. So um, yeah, that is a, an issue. And that's probably, well, it's got to be my problem of how I'm placing the camera. Maybe I have to tilt it down a little bit, or is it just a thing that happens sometimes? Uh, yeah, bit of, a, bit of an issue that, but it wasn't triggered at all. So I got nothing, nothing this time. So uh, a little bit, a little bit disappointed, but that's what you get with these trail cameras. So I will be placing it again and I uh, hope you uh, continue to follow me with this fantastic camera. Uh, remember, we did get the badger, but trying for deer. Well, anything, anything would have done. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I upload a vlog every month. So if you've enjoyed this sort of thing, uh, please consider subscribing. And uh, until the next one, bye.